Thursday morning, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to WEHT Local Lifestyle. Uh, I'm Angie Humphrey. Angie, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's Friday Eve. It's Friday Eve, that's right. <laughs> What's this Thursday morning stuff? I'm sorry, I was being formal. Friday Eve, yes. And we got to get ready for the weekend already. See, that's the thing. They say the most productive day of the week is Tuesday, because once Wednesday hits, it's kind of just... You're kind of over it? Yeah, I think so. And of course, Monday, everybody's sluggish. You know? Well, that may be true in other places, yeah. but it's not true here. No, we, no. We never, we never slow down. We never back off. Well... <laughs> We're always rolling on. Well, well you don't. <laughs> I'm over there slacking at the show. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, well I mean, you're working hard well, over here. You over there doing something. I don't know what it is you're doing. Well, Coming up today on the show, besides Ron Rhodes' hard work for oh, yeah. on your behalf, yeah. a program to educate and raise awareness about the challenges of living with Parkinson's disease. We will tell you all about that and how you can be a part. A new twist on an old scam, an old phone mm. scam. It's hit the tri-state, and our friends in the Better Business Bureau will tell us what to watch out for when the phone rings. The Henderson Harvest Fest is coming up, and you can enjoy the bounty and some great music. Oh, good. EDSC and Hangers help students throughout the year, and you can help, too. We're going to tell you more about Hangers and what they do. HGTV's design star Chip Wade has a new design platform to launch right here on the show, and we're going to tell you what Chip is going to do. It's really very interesting. Really? Very interesting indeed, yes. Well, so there are a lot of Chip television stars, aren't there? But Chip and Joanna Well, you know how Gaines? often I almost called him in this interview, uh, Chip Gaines. Did you really? Uh, yeah, I was just trying to catch myself. <laughs> I was about to say. I, mean, I just didn't all these, say the last all thing. All these Chips out there on television, mm -hmm. yeah, just stick with the Chip. Stick with the chip. That's a good. That's a good motto for each. Well, I tell you, what, speaking of chips, I want to give a shout out to Candy Wirtz. That's Adam Wirtz is our director's oh, yeah. mother. His, his mama. Who once again has whipped up a, just an excellent salsa. This was the hot batch, and you well, did one of nothing. I, I know it's wonderful, but I don't do heat, so <laughs> the, the chips were good. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look outside right now. The Tuli Lost Guy. It camera. was good. <laughs> the huh? chips it was were good. good. It was very good. Had a very good burn to it, but it definitely burned. There's no doubt about it. Uh, well, we are not feeling the burn as far as the temperature goes today. Of course, the clouds are keeping the temperature down. Now, we haven't seen a lot of rain of late. Now, we had some rain early this morning. In fact, quite a bit of rain in some parts of the tri-state this morning. As you see, the clouds over top of Evansville. Now, we're going to see a few breaks in the clouds. We've already seen a little sunshine. We'll see a little more this afternoon. 80 already. We'll be in the mid-80s for a high. Now, one thing we're going to see more of today, other than a little more humidity, which, you know, we don't necessarily want, is wind. It's going to be pretty breezy. Even apart from thunderstorms, we're talking about a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind from the south and southwest. So, these little breeze kicking up out there if you get outside this afternoon. So, just a heads up. There were some storms out there last night. Oh, I tell afternoon. you what, they made a little down. ruckus, didn't they? It really did. I told you it was out of my deck, and all of a sudden I heard the thunder, I saw the lightning, right. and by the time I got in the door, whoosh, down it came. And, uh, <laughs> and our, our old buddy, uh, Alexander Johnson got caught in it. She called it a tsunami. Would, it you, was, it would was, you use that uh, well, term? Well, it was pretty tsunami-esque, yes. <laughs> it was a wall of water. It was a wall of water and a lot of lightning, too. Well, you ready to get to the Daily Dish on oh, this Oh, let's Friday bring it on, of Eve. course. Let's do it. Roll it, friends. 500 homes is an achievement very few Habitat affiliates can reach. And on Wednesday, Evansville got closer to becoming one of them. The ground was broken on Evansville's 500th Habitat home on South Bedford Avenue. The ceremony included a proclamation from Mayor Lloyd Winicky, who designated Wednesday as 500 Habitat Homes Day. Cool. And in honor of Habitat, the old courthouse downtown lit up blue and green for Habitat to celebrate the 500th groundbreaking. I think that's wonderful. Isn't and that something? It's an amazing accomplishment. It is an amazing accomplishment and really very few communities I think across the country right. have 500 habitat homes and we're about to reach that goal mm -hmm. once this final, the, not final home, but the, the most recent home is right. finished. So and that means great. that there are 500 families in our community that are now stable, that have stability for right. their children, for themselves and they put a lot of energy into building. They don't just get a house. No. You've got to work for it. And you work hard. I remember putting a few hours in on a Habitat home one time. Yeah. I, but uh, they, they laughed at my hammer, Angie. They, well, what was wrong with your hammer? <laughs> Apparently it wasn't big enough and good enough. I don't well, know. Well, I just it borrowed works theirs. For me. I didn't bring my own. I just borrowed Well, theirs. That, there's plenty to borrow, I guess. Yeah. yeah, well, congratulations, Habitat. Yes, indeed. Pop icon Madonna may be, really be feeling like a material girl today. She is showered with gifts for her birthday. Believe it or not, she's 60. Huh. Madonna was born on August 16th, 1958 in Michigan. She then moved to New York in 78 to become a dancer. Then she released her first album in 80. Madonna shot to superstardom the next year with her first number one song, Like a Virgin. She's been cranking them out ever yeah. since. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, she sold more than 300 million albums and singles around the world since 1983. Wow. Happy birthday, Madonna. She's still rocking it.
Is she, has she had a hit lately? I don't know. No, I, I, I think I just her, her shows. Well, her I shows, mean, yeah, you know, she still sells does that. out everywhere she goes. Didn't she? Now, she spent a little bit of time in, in England. I don't know. I think she did for about a year or so. I think she was married to an English man. It's hard to say. I Which, can't keep up. It's, I can't keep up. Maybe. You're, you're, you're keeping tabs on her birthday, but I guess it's uh, okay. Well, good for her. Well, happy Make birthday, Madonna. Happy birthday, yeah. Well, walk this way to Las Vegas if you want to hear Aerosmith live. The legendary band has announced their first Vegas residency. It's really? It's the 18 date run has been dubbed Deuces of Wild. Okay. Members Steven Tyler and Joe Perry say the residency will allow them to take 50 years of performing experience and create one one of a kind show. The shows kick off in April of next year at the Park Theater located on the Vegas Strip in the new park, MGM. The residency currently runs through July 9th, 2019. Well, that'll be something to see. Well, yeah, Aerosmith, obviously a big rock band. You know, here's the thing with that. I mean, I guess eventually all artists, like Elvis before them, eventually kind of go on Celine to Vegas. Dion. Well, it's easier. <laughs> you sure it's easy? You don't have to worry about tour in the world. You've got one solid place. Can't live in one place. And a lot of people probably commute from L.A. It's not that big of a... Especially right. if you've got a plane right. or something right. like that. So a lot of these guys live in the L.A. area, mm -hmm. so they can just commute or whatever. Uh, to Vegas, you got a, a regular gig and you're in the same place. And, and a built-in audience every night? Because, I mean, there's always a packed house. Those tickets are never cheap, though. Do you think we those can get a gig in, in Vegas? Well, probably in one of those little back seaty <laughs> lounges somewhere. <laughs> where they still we'd, fill with we'd be off the strip. Yeah, well, yeah. well off, Way the strip. off the strip. Ron and Angie <laughs> brings their act. Well, we'll be back in just a moment. And when we come back, Scott and Janice are there to share an important program about Parkinson's disease. We'll be right back.